What up, nerds? We're gonna be playing Costume Quest. Uh, I'm gonna be commentating, and the Latino Kobe Bryant is going to be playing. Uh, so, just to clarify, Kenneth is on the controls. Elias is just talking. Um, if you've never heard of Costume Quest before, it's it's a really fun game. It, it went on sale recently, and it might go on sale again. Like, keep an eye out for it on the winter sale the upcoming winter sale that i'm pretty sure is like around the corner and is gonna murder our wallets um really fun game it's short but it's entertaining uh, the premise just to sort of give you like a really short explanation of what the game is about exactly it, these kids go around fighting bad guys and they use costumes in order to get power-ups like different costumes give them different abilities So now I picked I'm gonna be the girl. Kenneth is skipping all the plot because we gave it a shot once before, but we ruined the footage, so we have to record and start over again. It's cool though. <laughs> That's funny because the last time he didn't look like that, remember? No. And the last time he was wearing something else completely. Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. He insults the kid. Yeah. I don't know how I skipped it. That's my fault. It's very basic stuff. We haven't missed out on anything. The mom wants them to go out trick-or-treating. The You get to choose who's in charge. Kenneth chose the little girl, and she doesn't want to be around her brother because, well, there you go. Look, he has a crummy costume. This part is somewhat important, though. Which the, the guy before was the one that caught them out on it. And that's why now she feels really bad and making him go by himself. And now this is going to happen. Which, we we watched this happen before. You, you pay, pay attention to the guy's face. There's no way. Like, just think about it. I feel like the moment he picks him up, it seems kind of... It seems like it has a, a rather rapey undertone. Like, it... There you go. Look at his face. And now he, he's like, oh, oh kid. <laughs> he's like, take him to my shed. And his sister just watches, like, call the police, man. Your brother just got taken. Like, he he, he, he got took it. There's, like, that movie by Liam Neeses. <laughs> he, he, he wrote the movie. He took made it. the movie. Took it. <laughs> took Took it. Took it. Took it. Took it. Took Look at that. He's shaking the kid. Look, where, look at his hand placement. This is, this has to be, this has to be wrong. There's that. Uh, nobody's concerned. All these houses, lights are on and everything. Nobody seems to be. Nobody seems to be worried yeah. about the fact that there's a green man throwing a kid over a fence. Pretty sure he died too. So yeah, there's no way that kid's okay. Now she's mad as fuck. She she ain't taking that. So he, he takes off his shirt to fight the girl, right? Does he? Pretty sure. Let's see. All right. So now it gets worse. Okay. So now he's taking his clothes off in front of little children. We only played the game once, or I did, and that's why I don't remember clearly. Let's see. <coughs> yeah. yeah. You see? Look, yeah. Now he's shirtless, standing in front of this little girl. At this point, Kenneth is an expert at this. Like, yeah, I one shot him. He he pretty much he pretty much developed the battle system here. I missed. All right, he he did that on purpose because he wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you miss. Yeah, it was a test run. Not everybody's gonna be as perfect as I am. Apparently the guy's made out of candy. Not blood and guts, candy. I wanna be made out of candy. Can you imagine if you cut yourself and you bled I don't know. Candy. Pixie dust? No, Jolly Ranchers, dude. Jolly Ranchers. Jolly, Jolly Ranchers. ranchers. Alright, but like liquefied Jolly Rancher? Like Both. The like hard candy you know, coursing through your blood does not sound pleasant. That sounds painful. You can't You know when the when the blood the the 
Or they say the blood clot, which isn't a blood clot, but you know when it gets really thick. Yeah, the little cell, the little blood yeah, cell thingy. Yeah. So that would be the hard one, but right, then the rest right. would be the liquid. Okay, fire. so a tiny. All right, think about it like this: a tiny, tiny little stone in your, you know, urinary tract portion of your body hurts to pee out. That tiny little thing hurts the pass, and it hurts so much. It's 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 bloody awful. I've never experienced it firsthand, but I've heard from friends that it's. Freaking awful. So, can you imagine if there's a million little pieces of hard candy just coursing through your body, constantly just hurting you? That's what's going to make you stronger, man. That's what's going to make you stronger. But here's the downside. Do you cut yourself and, like, just drink it? Because then then, then people start to worry, you know what I mean? Like, they start to get concerned. You're an addict. Not, well, not, not just an addict, but you're harming yourself so that you can drink your own blood. Then you look like you're you're supporting Twilight or something. Nobody nobody wants that. Nobody likes that. There's people out there that like Twilight. And if you like Twilight, that's okay. But it's a horrible movie, and I think you should you should acknowledge that. You know, like nobody's going to give it an Oscar. Kristen Stewart is not a good actress. Okay. Wow, he just <laughs> said that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying. All right, so. I'm not saying that it's a horrible movie, but I'm not saying that it isn't. Let's put it like this. If I had to file it under a certain genre, I'd probably put it under comedy. Because if anything, it's funnier than anything else. What about the books, man? I never read the books. I read like a portion and it was so freaking toxic. I just had to close it and never read it again. Some people might say it's been like the best book written in what? all of our generation. Better than Stephen, anything Stephen King did? Well, how dare you? How dare I? What about, what about uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, though? No, what about the other one? The All the Love Stories that are into movies? They're all the same? Oh, right Nicholas name? Spark? Yeah, what about Nicholas Yo, Spark? Yo, Nicholas Spark is where it's at. Let me tell you, man. That guy inspired my love life. I would never have bothered getting a girlfriend if it weren't for him. I'm lying. I'm lying through my teeth. Because those movies are all awful. Let me tell you. Hey, if you like them, you know. Right, if you like no them. No shame. Like what you want, you Exactly. Know? Like, I'll tell you right now, I'm a fan of Katy Perry. Taylor Swift has some pretty good songs. Blank Space, that new one, enjoyable. But, like, I can recognize when something is bad. And it doesn't make me feel bad. I'm happy I like the things I like, but I can recognize when something is bad. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say Britney Spears deserves to win an award for her album. But it's enjoyable. I'll sit through it. And you can bet that I, I, you could catch me potentially at a Britney Spears concert, even a Katy Perry one. I'd go to Katy Perry because you know she looks, she look good. <laughs> Fine. Can you imagine if she sweats on you. You gotta get nosebleed seats so that she sweats on you and and bleeds from her nose on you. We know where we're supposed to go, but Kenneth is collecting the candy because I mean, like you have. Bag of candy, why not, right? It helps you, man. You get rich. Or die trying. Or die trying. Now, on the subject of, like, copyright, not that we were talking about it, but there's a funny story. Um, uh, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, and again, I could be wrong, so feel free correcting me. But I think Smooth McGroove once tweeted about how, like, they contacted him or something about, um, Smooth McGroove is a, is a, is a, a YouTube personality as well. He does, like, acapella versions of video game songs. Uh-huh. Um, and they, he said, I think that, like, they, 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 um, like, something about, like, he received a warning because, like, he sounded so good. It sounded like it was actually, like, he was actually recording the song. That's something to be proud of. And that guy's amazing. Like, Smooth, smooth and Groove, that guy's freaking awesome. His music is... I mean, obviously, it's like music from video games and he covers it, but he does it very well. And he yeah, always includes no his nerds. Cat. Don't sound too good or you're going to get a Yeah. Yeah. Don't... 
<clears throat> make yourself sound a little worse. You gotta make it sound believable. Believable that you're not the originator. Okay, so men, I've been joking with men. Men is a friend of ours. If if you're wondering, yes, we are saying men like M E N men. Uh, he's like Chinese Puerto Rican, so his parents, you know, like the name may, makes sense to them. Um, right. Men's been talking about how he wants someone to buy a Wii U so he can play Smash Bros. Hmm. <laughs> but he does own a bike. I mean, I'm always messing with him. I'm like, hey, are you going to go buy it today? He's like, yeah. He says he's think- he wants to buy one, but the thing is, like, he doesn't want to buy it right now. He wants to see if it'll go on sale or something, especially with Black Friday around the corner. <coughs> Was this always there? Or did I miss it? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there's nothing else in the Let's go. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not interested in a Wii. There's a couple games here and there. I would say Smash Brothers would be the only reason I would get it, but um, I don't know. You know, I might want to explore around. <coughs> not entirely sure that it would. It's justifiable to pay like two fifty or something like that just for Smash Brothers, and then I'd have to pay an additional sixty bucks just to get the hard copy. Um. 3DS, there's a lot that I want for that. There's, I want the, the Smash Brothers for 3DS, even though a lot of people don't like it because it just feels unnatural. Um, Kingdom Hearts, eventually. Oh, look, there you go. Yo, pro skater. Look at you. Avril Lavigne writes songs about you. You couldn't make it. <laughs> Another police officer arrests him and he spends his entire life in jail. Goes up to be a crooked, a crooked. So he goes up to be. <coughs> oh, shut your lie hole! Damn, she oh. is serious. Huh. That's just mean. You don't walk around scaring little kids. Oh, want a switch? Oh yeah, so you can go ahead and be the knight now. And now you have the new ability. Huh. Cool. But now I can't run though. Yeah, switch back. Um, yeah. Oh well, yeah. My lesser half. Lesser half. half. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm the favorite. <laughs> A little. So there's two things about this game, right? Like, there, there's two ways you can think about it. Either it's a very sweet and endearing story about how kids use the power of imagination to, you know, uh, rescue someone dear to them. Or... Someone slipped something in all these candies, and all these kids are high as fuck right now, and they think that there's aliens that exist and their costumes give them superpowers, and really they're just hitting a bunch of adults with, like, pots and pans. You would think of getting kids high, right? Well, no. <laughs> Never. Let's, like all right, let's clear this out real quick before <laughs> before things get real bad. No, never, never. All right, steer clear of that shit. Okay, so I need to go find. It. Is it a time thing? Do you remember? Uh, for what? I need to find like six kids hiding. No, no, you just have to find the kids. I just don't know where the fuck those kids are. Oh my god, he's back. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> Oh, so now the other guy fights. You use the other guy too, I think. Uh, yeah, there he is. Oh, he has a buddy. Ooh. How how are there two of them? Only one guy jumped on you. His friend must have came out from the back. Oh, damn. Again, Kenneth is just trying to show you what happens when you mess up. 
Oh, okay. Ooh. What? Oh yeah, they're different. They they work differently sometimes. I like the combat system. I think it's creative. It's, it's not innovative because it, I'm pretty sure it's been done before, but yeah, it's fun. It's better than just like you know some lazy turn-based stuff. Not that all turn-based stuff is lazy. It's just you can you can also go on the defensive, I think, and and then use the other guy's power to start for fun. Uh, uh, does it actually? Oh yeah, yes, yes. Oh yeah, he's alive. Yeah, Allah. Oh, but Guardian Shield just gives you a shield so that the next hit doesn't doesn't hurt. There you go. So now he's gonna hit you. Yeah, some of them have really cool powers too. Eventually, when you when you unlock the other costumes, the um. BB treats. The achievement system is also very easy. I've unlocked all of them except one. There's like, uh, play during Halloween and play during Christmas. <laughs> oh, so two I've unlocked. Are they still active? Yeah. Well, you I can still keep doing. Yeah, yeah. I would have to start again during. I would, I just have to start the game up during Christmas. So. I don't remember if they're hiding in the houses or if they're hiding outside somewhere. Whoa. Yo, that guy, you hit the mother load right there, man. I am rich. <laughs> in candy? That guy doesn't want to look at, look at Abraham Lincoln over there. Fucking Abe Lincoln just... Maybe he should turn around before he gets murdered. How do I get the password, man? Let me get the password, dude. For those of you who didn't catch it, that's a an assassination joke. It's not nice. Don't make jokes like that. That was kind of... It's not funny, man. It's not funny, man. Some of my best friends were Abe Lincoln. Trick tree. Are all these grown-ups the same? Yeah, for real, they all look exactly the same. I'm rich again. Um. Is this it? Yeah, I think I think we'll continue. We'll continue on the on the next episode, guys. The, the next episode of of Nerds Play Z. We'll um, find the rest of the kids and the brother eventually, and we'll find Goku. I think. Guys, we'll do it all. We'll do it all. Just next time, not Nerds Ball GT. Nerds Ball GT. All right, we'll see you guys next time.